OK, lads, this is where Mick lives. Marion said that we're not getting enough footage of him, so we're going to film him now so you can see what he looks like. Mick, are you there, Mick? Mick! He might not be in. Mick! Oh, he is in. Yeah, Mick, I've just come down because the lad said I don't get enough footage of you on the old camera, so... Well, it's about time. Yeah, here you go, lads. So there's Mick. Yep. Yeah, yep. Uh, at last, eh? You've been waiting long enough. OK. See you later, Mick. See you later. See you later, Mick. I said... Oh, OK, then. Hang on, hang on. Phone's gone. It's probably... Yeah, it's Jack. It's Jack. What's that, Jack? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, on the pier, yeah? Oh, that was good. Oh, and then it's that Artie, what, your son? He, you wouldn't watch him, he's a con man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you fell for that, yeah? Okay, okay. No, we've got to go. Hang on, there's a lie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jack, see you later. Okay, bye. What's happened now? Oh, it's Jack again. He's gone down the pier because, you know that seagull we've got? He wants to get one and he see that this artist's son, he's a fiddler, he was selling seagulls on the pier for two pound each. Jack's gone to the pier. First off, he's chatting to two lovely old ladies, sat in a deck chair. A streaker runs by. No. Yeah, one had a stroke and the other couldn't reach. <coughs> that was... Anyway, then Jack sees Artie's son selling the seagulls. <coughs> so he gives him two quid. Yeah. They said, I'll give you two quid, I want a seagull. And Artie went, thanks, took the money. And Jack went, well, where is it? You know what Artie said? No. You can have that one up there if you want. <laughs> you can't believe it, can you? And... Uh, Jack's still down there now waiting for it to land. Oh. <laughs> How did he get on with that other problem? Oh, with the doctor. Yeah. Oh, what, you mean when he had the, the story? Well, we uh, don't talk about it. Oh, no, well, I, I can't tell you that one. Not, he had the story up his bum. Well, up the back, you know, and he went to the doctor and he said anything he could do. And the doctor, the doctor said, don't worry, Jack, I've got some cream for that. <laughs> well, at least I'm laughing yeah, about it, is it? Expecting Glenn any minute, just waiting. I don't know what he's going to do. Um, there he is. You got him early, Nick? Yeah. You can't park there. Hey? You can't park there. Why not? Well. We're filming. You know when you're doing filming, they let you park anywhere you want. I've seen these film crews, you just go where you want, it don't matter. Anyway, they'll like it if they know they're part of the film. You can't park there. There's dogs barking, but no, that's all right. Are we ready to get on the filming? Yeah. Yeah. He won't mind, not when he knows what I'm filming. Film crew, isn't it? Are you sure? He's coming, hang on. <laughs> OK, mate. Mick. Yep. Oh, come here. Let's do this here. OK, lads. OK. Mick, got us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Are you OK there, filming? You sure? Sure. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, so we did that bit of filming the other day with you, Mick, didn't we? Yeah. How did it come out? Well, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Give me a chance. I'm doing everything. You know what I mean? Because I don't think you got the whole of me. What I do you mean, didn't get the whole of you? I think you, you were the just whole... filming my middle. You... No, Mick. I was filming this part because I, on, I had a super wide-angled lens on. I know you don't know much about camera work, but you can buy these lenses, and what they do, if I film there, it gets your whole body. I haven't seen it yet, but you'll be, rest assured, you'll be in it. I can't let you have it because it's an expensive bit of equipment. OK. Yeah, we're going to show you the lads this, what we did. We did this job. When did we do it? A couple of years ago? Mm. For flying? Yep. Mick's still working for him. He's got a good friendship with flying. They get on well. Um, and it's, they wanted it to look a little bit like, you've still got me, Mick? Yeah, it's a, a good. A little bit like South of France, or a bit like Tuscany in Italy. So we did this old, so, and Mick put these metal window frames in, built them in, so it, it just gives it a bit of character. It's going, isn't it? Yep. Um, OK, lads, this is another thing we did. It's, they wanted a pump. So we took the water, Mick, we built a reservoir up there, Got the levels so that that water now feeds this pump. Mick, 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 you want me as well? Yeah. And lads, wait for this. Hey, what's that about then? Hey, you don't see many of them nowadays, do you? Hey, see, we're thinking of the climate. 
We soaked in the water. That's very ingenious, you might not realise, but that water feeds this and they have a pump. It's a good idea if you're working in someone's garden, it looks impressive, like you know what you're doing, you know? Okay, Mick, we'll go down the bottom, shall we? Yep. You feel me, Mick? Yeah. You press the red button, you know what to do, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's not that hard, it's only one button, are you sure? Yeah, you've got the red light on? Yeah? All go. All go. Okay, lads, so this is a greenhouse that we did, and um, when we did the base, do you remember, Mick? Yep. He said it was the best, most accurate base I'd ever have on it. That's right. It cost 20 odd grand, but he said they'd never have one as good as that. That was me and Mick, you see? Well, Mick, you give me a hand, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say we built that, but we didn't. <laughs> Yep, come in. Perhaps we can get a shot from here as well, up there, of the, the hat. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Why? Yep. Okay, I want to show you around here. Make sure you keep the camera, don't mock it about, keep it static. Where we're very much looking after the environment, me and Mike. So every job we go on, we encourage them to reuse their water. We don't like wasting it. We're very climate change aware. We're aware of the environment. So we did. Are you, are you feeling me, Mick? Yeah. Yeah. So we put, we caught all the water off the roof, built these two containers, Mick. Yep. Which hold the water when they need it, always full up. Then the overflow, Mick, come with me. The overflow from these containers, come with me, Mick. Feeds this pond. That feeds the pond, and then the overflow from the pond feeds the bog garden. That's a bog garden, although that's going to change. But that's the idea that the water comes off the roof into them, into here, into there. What else? I mean, it doesn't get any better. That's how much me and Mick get. Well, Mick ain't bothered, but I care about the environment. <laughs> it's, that, it's how it is. I, I'm, I'm that way inclined. Anything else that we can show, Mick? So this is mixed stonework again. You can see done all that and then up round there, done the path leading up to the house, which is a, a lovely place, I tell you. They've also got an outhouse here, which is nice, isn't it, Mick? I don't know, hang on, I'm doing everything now, I'm doing the camera work and the talking here, I have the camera back. Well, I can't do it all. You took over. Yeah, I know, I was just wanting to get a bit of decent camera work, that's all. Um, no, there's nothing else, is there, Mick? I think that, anyway, so that's Florian and Jennifer. And they've been really good to me and Mick, they've looked after us for the last few years. We've been, we've been here a long time, haven't we? How long did we stay originally? We said we... Well, you put a lot of weight on, didn't you? Yeah, well... Because he was feeding us every I day. I know. He was, he was cooking every day. Listen, lads, I was getting pheasant, or salmon, yeah. all these exotic dishes every day, and drinks, wine, and he was paying us day work. It was embarrassing, wasn't it? We, I, I was getting so fat, I had to tell him. I had to tell him to stop. I mean, it was one of them jobs. We, we originally came and told him it would take about two months. Do you remember? We was here for 14 months in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Billy Bunter. <laughs>